Hi, this is Chef Maxine from York Region Food Network and it is Thursday, so you know what time it is. It's time for what's for dinner. So this week, we are talking about skillet dinners. The recipe I'm gonna show you today is a quick and easy chicken salsa skillet dinner. All right, let's go. Okay, so first up, we have our chicken. Okay, so chicken is that classic, easy to use, everyone loves it, so I have my chicken, and don't forget, we need to always season. So I have our spices in here. Um, so it's a mix of spices. There is oregano, cumin, some paprika, uh, a little bit of salt and some pepper, and a little bit of coriander. Okay, so that's what the seasonings we're gonna use. Okay, so we're going to use some salsa, some corn, bell peppers, some rice, vegetable or chicken broth, and of course, salt, pepper, and you'll need some sort of oil that you're going to use to cook with. Okay. We're ready to go. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna season our meat. So we're gonna use, it's gonna have that sort of Mexican uh, Tex-Mex flavor. Uh, so there is cumin, coriander, a little paprika, some oregano, salt, and a little bit of salt and pepper. So we'll use this to season our meat. Okay, so I'm gonna put all that in here. I have about a pound of meat, just the uh, chicken meat, no bones, no skin. Uh, I'll add our spices to that and give it a stir and just a tiny squeeze of oil so that it helps the spices to coat it really nicely. All right. Okay, so it's all nicely coated. We're going to go into our pan. So first things first, I'm going to get my pan nice and hot. Once it's hot, I'm going to add some neutral cooking oil that whatever kind that you like to use in your home, that's the best kind to use. Okay, so once it's nice and hot, I'll add my cooking oil in there. And I use about two tablespoons. And now we're gonna put in our chicken. One reason I love these one pot skillet meals is it takes a tiny bit of prep time ahead of time but they're really fast and easy, and my favorite thing is there's not a lot of cleanup. Because I don't know about you, I hate doing dishes. So, get some color, so I'll give it a stir, and it's already smelling really good. And just let it cook on the other side. Okay, and we're just gonna let it keep going. So we're looking for the meat to be no longer pink, we want a little bit of color on the outside before we start doing anything else, okay? So this will take maybe about five to seven minutes to brown your meat. Oh, so take a look at that. Oh, that looks amazing. So you got nice color here on our meat. That's perfect. Okay, so now that we have the color on our meat, we're gonna start going in with our other ingredients. First up, salsa. So we're gonna add our salsa. Now, with the salsa, you can go with your just commercial store-bought brand, whatever kind you like, or you can just make a really quick, simple salsa using some fresh tomatoes, a little bit of red onion, some fresh cilantro. Um, I like to put a little bit of garlic and uh, maybe some salt and some pepper and a squeeze of lime. Okay, so you can make your own salsa, a little bit of olive oil, and, uh, and then get it all going together. So what we're gonna do is add our broth. So this is a vegetable broth, you can use chicken broth. And again, if you have a store-bought brand, you can use that, or you can just make your own if you, uh, or someone who likes to do that. So look at this, this is all gonna go in. I will cover it and let it simmer for about five minutes, but and then I'll come back and add the rice. So I'm using just a parboiled rice. This is a parboiled white rice. Now, you can use any kind you want. If you, um, if you want, for example, to use a brown rice, you can. Just keep in mind that you'll probably need a little bit more liquid and it's gonna take a little bit more time to cook. Um, but once it's in there, we're gonna give it a good stir and make sure everything gets mixed together. 
And then I also am going to add at this time my corn. So this corn, you can either use canned corn or frozen corn, whichever you prefer, or in the middle of the summer, fresh corn is an awesome option. And then we're also going to add some bell peppers. So I chose green peppers, but if you're not a fan of green peppers, guess what? You can choose a different kind of pepper. So you can use red peppers, yellow peppers. Um, I, I chose the green really for the color because uh, it just looks really pretty here. There's the red from the tomatoes, there's the yellow from the corn, and now there's the green from the peppers. So that looks absolutely stunning and delicious. I'm gonna just put a pinch of salt, just a pinch. You don't need very much because if you've used your, um, if you use like a chicken broth, like a commercial kind of chicken broth, there's gonna be, or vegetable broth, there's gonna be some sodium in there. And also if you're using a commercial kind of salsa, there's also gonna be sodium in there. So I put a little bit in because um, I did give it a taste before and it needed just a tiny bit and I'm do a little bit of pepper. So the thing with, whenever you're cooking anything, like especially rice, if the flavor isn't in there beforehand, it's not gonna be in there after. So we don't want it to be bland. There's nothing worse than bland food. So that's why I make sure it's nice and seasoned before we finish cooking it so that all the flavor absorbs into the rice and into the chicken. All right, so now it is just a waiting game for us. We are gonna cover this up, cook it on sort of medium high, uh, medium low heat. And when all the water is absorbed and the rice kernels are cooked, it's done. So we're probably gonna look for about 15 minutes and I will see you back here in 15. All right, it's time to take a look inside and see how our skillet is, has done. Oh, look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. Okay, and then we can serve this with any of our toppings. So we have some fresh cilantro, some jalapeno, some shredded uh, cheddar, some green onions, some sour cream, and some blue corn tortilla chips. I just love customizable dinners. Hey, Mom, what's for dinner? Hey, come take a look. So this is mm, Kayla. Yummy. <laughs> Thanks. OK, here you go. So you get to choose what you want to put on it. So why don't you take a look? I'm going to get some for myself. What are you going to put on yours? I think I'm going to do a little bit of See, I'm gonna do a little cheese because I love cheese. You're going sour for the sour cream and onion. I'm going for the sour cream. Oh, this looks good. I love you know I love cilantro. So I'm gonna take a look. Oh, I got the lots of cilantro. And maybe a little bit of hot pepper. What do you think? I want hot pepper. You like hot peppers? Alright. Alright folks, so that is it. Dinner is just about ready to be served. We're super excited. What do you I think? Know. Oh, he's still, he's still getting it. So we're super excited to be ready to tuck into this and to eat it. So now it's your turn. I want to see you posting any comments or questions or your favorite one pot chicken and rice skillet dinner. Looking forward to seeing them and I will definitely answer any questions or comments that you might have. So I will see you there. 